Zach's Screen of the Week, an overview of a timely stock screening strategy aimed at helping you produce more profitable investing results. This week we're talking about current ratio, whatever that means, but we'll get an explanation, I'm sure, from Kevin Matris, our top stock screener who's with us once again. Seems to me that we did this once before, but it has been a while, so even I need to have my memory (laughs) refreshed, and that's not just because of my age this time. What is current (laughs) ratio? (laughs) What is current ratio? Uh, The current ratio is simply another item to really help gauge a company's financial health. So let's take a look at the definition. All right. First off, current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. So the higher the ratio, the better, meaning the company has more liquid assets to meet its short-term obligations. A ratio of two or more, for example, means a company has at least twice as many short-term assets than short-term liabilities, and that is generally considered good. Now, if you were to look at the current ratio for the stocks in the S&P presently, Mm -hmm. the average current ratio is 1.82. Uh, If you were to look at which sector has the best current ratio, the medical sector, they have, they currently have the best current ratio. Mm -hmm. They have a median of 2.68. Finance, though, has been dragging at the bottom for the last couple of years. Their current ratio is at 0.96. But this does illustrate that there can be a a, quite a diverse range of current ratios based on what sector or industry you're in. All right. So how would you use this current ratio? Well, screening for it is quite easy. You know, as we said, it is a ratio. So really on any screener out there, whether it be ours or somebody else's screener, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the ratios category. From there, you'll go to the liquidity and coverage section. And then once you're in that section, you'll see an item called current ratio, and that's the one. Now, the way I prefer to use it is I like to compare a stock's current ratio to the median for its industry, and I think that is the best and most appropriate way to apply apply this item. Yeah, it would seem to be. Is that how you're using it in the screen this week? Yeah, we're, we're looking at current ratios that are greater than the median for their industry, and we're also applying a bunch of other solid items to help flesh this screen out. So okay. check it out. All right. We start off by looking at companies with an average broker rating of one, so only strong buys are getting through. Then we want the current ratio to be greater than the median for its respective industry. So again, we want companies with the strongest liquid positions to meet their short-term obligations. Mm -hmm. And for this one too, we want to make sure the current ratio is still above two. So at the very least, we want companies to exceed the commonly held definition of good. Then we want the projected one-year growth rate to be greater than the median for its industry. We want the projected one-year growth rate to at least be greater than zero, so it has to be positive. Mm -hmm. And then all of these things are being applied to companies with a price greater than five and a volume of greater than 100,000 shares or better. Okay, quickly, some stocks that have come through the screen. Yeah, there was about 30 that came through. Here's five. We've got Buckeye Technologies, Boise Incorporated, CN Insure, that's a Chinese uh, insurance company, Mm -hmm. uh, Igate Corp, and STR Holdings. Very diverse set of companies, but all of these companies look very strong financially. And do you own any of these? Uh, No, I don't. Okay. (laughs) After a quick review of the tape, as they say, in the NFL, if you would like to see a text version of Kevin's Screen of the Week this week, of course, go to our homepage at zax.com and scroll down that page until you get to the title that's right next to his picture. That's the live link that'll take you to the text version of this particular screen. If you want to know more about the Research Wizard, the backtesting software program that Kevin uses to achieve all of his screens here on Screen of the Week, of course, you would want to go to zax.com forward slash research wizard for that information. With Kevin Matris and the Screen of the Week, I'm Terry Ruffalo.